Hey y'all, welcome to my channel today. You know, it's really funny. Um, back when, way back when, when I was doing videos literally every day, oh, I would just turn that camera on and just go. You know, it was nothing, nothing. Now that I am so sporadic and sometimes it's weeks in between a video, I turn it on and <laughs> there's like 15 takes. Cause it's like, I forget what to say and I just fumble over my words. It's, I ought to show you the bloopers. I really should. But anyway, welcome to my channel today. If this is your first time joining, my name is Melissa and we have a lot of fun on this channel. We do shopping hauls, we do unboxings, um, some of my health journey, yeah. And of course the puppies. Now you might notice if you are a regular viewer that I've, I'm looking a little different in my setup. That's because I'm not actually sitting on my couch. Um, there's a couple reasons for that. One, it it's too low. And every time I sat on it, I would have to sit on pillows to raise me up a little bit. And I was just gonna deal with it, no big deal. And my dogs would try to get up there and it was just really not working, it just wasn't working. So this morning when I came in here to do this, I thought, Melissa, just sit in your office chair. I got this little swivel office chair. It's the perfect height. The dogs can still be in here and near me, but they're not on top of me. So yeah, well, I say they're not on top of me. I have one down here pawing at me. Anyway, that's why it looks a little different. I mean, it still looks the same, but I'm not sitting on the couch. I'm sitting in a chair, just in case y'all were wondering. Okay, what kind of shopping haul do I have for y'all today? Well, I'm gonna call it a nod to fall. Because, yeah, you know me. I am very, very ready for fall. Uh, I live in Texas, and it has been in the triple digits for a couple of weeks now. And today, it's so funny. Because yesterday, when I, you know, did this little shopping haul, when I bought these things, it was still really hot. It was 102 degrees. Um, but this morning when I woke up, y'all, it was 63 degrees outside. No joke. 63 degrees outside. I opened the door to let the dogs out, and I'm like, oh, my gosh. What is this? Cool air. I was like, oh, okay, that's a sign. I need to do my nod to fall shopping haul today. I actually wasn't planning on doing it until Saturday um, just because my work week is crazy. But I thought, no, I think I should do it today because it's actually fall weather out there. Now, it's not going to last but a couple of hours. But anyway, all right, so my nod to fall shopping haul from where? Well, if you saw the little clip, you know from where. No, from Walmart. From Walmart. Yeah, Walmart, I see you. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, Walmart, uh, Scott and I were in Walmart just the other day, I don't remember, just getting dog food and stuff like that. And we just happened to go through the clothing section. And I was like, oh, that's cute. Oh, wow, look at that, that's cute. <laughs> Scott was like, oh, your radar is up. And I'm like, yeah, it is, it really is. And so I thought, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to do a shopping haul from Walmart. I haven't done one in forever. So here we go. This is my nod to fall shopping haul. Okay, and then we're gonna talk about these roots. We're gonna talk about this gray hair. And y'all, I'm, I'm going to get my hair cut this Saturday. And I'm gonna talk to my stylist who I've had forever, Miss Leah, I love her so much, she's awesome, about what I should do here. Should I just let it go and just get all law natural and go gray? Or should we throw in some highlights? I don't know, and y'all can give me your two cents too. Okay, let me get some stuff out. Um, and make a little bundle. It's pretty thick. Now, let me show you. Just get a close up though, there. Lots of different textures, lots of different uh, patterns. Y'all, I'm, I'm really excited about this shopping haul. I'm, I'm anxious to try all this on and I hope it all fits. You know, my sizes are a little weird right now. We're not gonna talk about that, but a little bit. Um, so here, here's a here's the deal. Okay, anybody who knows me knows that I'm on a health journey. Lost a lot of weight, gained some back. A little more than a little. Um, had to change my sizes in all my boxes. Having to recreate my wardrobe a little bit. So, so here's the thing, y'all. I know I'm going to get back down to the weight I was. It may take me a little longer this go round, but that's okay. I don't care. But I don't want to invest a ton of money in a brand new wardrobe. You know, I just don't. So I'm trying to be frugal. Walmart is a great way to be frugal because they're really getting some cute stuff, but their price is very budget friendly. Very, very budget friendly. So this is a good haul for me. So it's mostly clothes, but I do have just a tiny bit. 
but I, I just poked myself in the eye. <laughs> I do have a tiny bit of home decor that I'll share with you also. I mean, when I say a tiny bit, I mean a tiny bit. Okay, let's get to it. All right, the first thing I got is a pair of Levi's. They're signature and they're, it's called Signature Levi Strauss and they are super skinny. That's what they're called, super skinny and I'm, I'm hoping they're not too skinny, you guys. Um, there's no distressing um, at all. It's just, you know, plain old Levi's, okay? So I have a lot of jeans that look similar to that, but not many that fit right now. So yeah, okay, moving on. Uh, I'm not gonna, I don't know the prices of each individual thing unless it's on the tag, which I think this one was $24.99. But I can tell you I got one, two, three, four, five, six pieces, and it was $129. So pretty good, pretty good. All right, this next piece, I actually have um, something like this, but it's red and white, and I always wear it at Christmas time. But y'all, look how cute this is. It's like a flannel hoodie by that brand true yeah time and true it's so cute i love the color so i could wear it like a shirt or i could open it up and wear it like a kind of like a shacket and i will say this um now jeans are jeans i gotta buy the size that fits as and you know and and then when they don't fit anymore they're not gonna fit anymore but tops i'm trying to buy things that even once they get too big i can still use them so stuff like that, I could put a sweater under. It's okay if it's oversized, you know, that kind of thing. So, I mean, I can't do that with every top I own, but I am trying to do it with as many as I can. All right, All right. I love this next thing. Okay, of course it's navy blue. Um, I don't know what to call it. It's it's another hoodie and I, it feels like a shacket, you know, because it's heavier than a shirt, but it's made like a shirt with the buttons and the pockets and it's ribbed and it's got a hood. And I think I can do it either way. Like I can wear it open like a jacket or I could just leave it buttoned up like a hoodie. Kimono, got me a kimono. I just love the fall colors in this, y'all. Look at that, it's just a kimono. And you know, the only thing I'm hesitant about this is the fabric, is the fabric, it's polyester. And most of my kimonos are more of a cotton, rayon kind of feel. And so I don't know how this is gonna lay. You know what I mean? I don't know how, you know, that's the only thing. So, but I loved the colors. I love the colors. You know, I have to have me some plaid or some gingham. I mean, would I be the gingham girl if I didn't? I don't think so. All right, so this is green and navy buffalo plaid. It's so soft. I wanted to see, let me look and see what the fabric is because it has to be a rayon blend. What is it? It's viscous. It's 100% viscous, which, oh, she found the bags that I tucked <laughs> that I tucked in there. Let me just put them right there. Um, okay, so it's viscous is, if I'm not mistaken, is a type of rayon. So this is oversized because they didn't have my my size that I actually think I need right now. But, you know, I don't care because I'll be honest, usually button up, I've always sized up and button, button down, button up kind of things. So I'm not too worried about it. And like I said, as it gets too big, I think I can like tie it up, you know, wear it open like a, you know what I mean? I don't know, we'll, we'll see. But I loved the color combination of the green and the navy. This, <laughs> this is a puffer vest. Y'all look at this puffer vest. Now I have a couple of puffer vests. I do. I don't have one that's solid uh, cream like this, ivory like this. And I definitely do not have a corduroy puffer vest. Yeah, that's what I loved about it. Okay, those are the clothes. Let me quickly show you the few little home decor pieces. And I'll tell you, <clears throat> They had, um, you know, they just had the one aisle with their seasonal items on it. And uh, there was a lot that I could have bought, but I, I restrained. So if you're looking for some new fall decor pieces, go to Walmart now um, because, you know, they'll get picked over and then they'll be gone and they don't really replenish once you're into the season. But they have some really, really cute things. And I love the color scheme they're using on some of them. You know, a lot of it's your real traditional, you know, orange and, and green and that kind of thing. But 
this, you see this color? They're mixing it with kind of a, well, kind of a blue like this and a lighter blue and some, um, I don't know, it's just a softer palette for fall. And I loved this. Isn't that cute, y'all? Hello, fall. I don't know, I just think it's so cute. And these are very affordable. This is like $2.29 or something like that. <coughs> Got to get a little pumpkin. I have tons of pumpkins, but I love this little wicker looking pumpkin. And it was, I don't know how much it was. Let's see. $3.28. $3.28. So cute. And then this, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It's a garland. I'm going to take it out first so you can see it. I, ha I haven't even taken it out to see it. I have a couple of places in mind that I could string a garland like this. This is so cute. Oh, I don't want, okay, I don't think I can pull it all out, but look, y'all, if you're a teacher and you want to decorate in your classroom, what a cute thing to use to decorate for fall, this garland. I think that would be adorable, but I think um, sometimes I hang garlands in my laundry room. I have this one area that I, I put garlands up traditionally when I'm decorating for season, you know, different seasons. I don't know why. I just always tend to do that, so that may be where that's going to go. I don't know. Anyway, all right, let's get the try-on done because then I got to get to work. Okay, yeah, I mean my other work. Be right back. Okay guys, before I step back and show you the outfit, I wanted to talk to you about the hair. So, you know, I I was I dyed my hair for about six years. I was blonde for five or six years. And then about six months ago, I went back to my natural-ish color and she left a few blonde highlights in there. And I'm glad she did because it's kind of helped me adjust to the gray that's growing out. So if you can see, I don't know if you can see, it, the new hair is very, very gray. I'm trying to decide, do I want her to like continue to like highlight and blend the gray or should I just go gray? Just let it happen. What do y'all think I should do? Y'all let me know. Or should I go back blonde? I really don't want to go back blonde. I'm not even going to put that as an option. That's a lot of upkeep, y'all. So this time in my life, I need simple, simple, simple. So no blonde right now. Not saying I won't ever be blonde again, but not right now. Okay. All right, let's look at the clothes. First, the pants. All right, let me tell you, they fit really great. They're high rise, and so they're very comfortable, and I like that. But I'm not gonna lie, they're super skinny. And though I'm carrying some extra weight right now, my legs, I don't usually carry a lot of weight in my legs, no matter what. Um, but these feel like they're squeezing me. They're squeezing me pretty good. So, because I like the way they fit up here so much, they're super comfortable, I may go back and see if they have this same, like, high-rise fit, but in a boot cut, because I think I would like that better. But, I do like them. All right, what do y'all think of this? I love the colors. I think it lays okay. Um, I'm not used to the polyester feel for a kimono, so I'm kind of on the fence about it. What do y'all think? great colors for the fall and the thing about a kimono for the fall it doesn't it just doesn't get that cold here so it's nice to have a fall look because we can't do sweaters and stuff in the fall so it's nice to have something that kind of feels fall looking you know what I mean so this definitely you know does that so I don't know what do y'all think it's kind of cute I kind of like it I don't know why I thought of this but I did I like to pattern mix I think it would be really cute with this too. You know, I don't know. What do y'all think? It's got a lot of colors in there I could pull out and use. Um, I, I'm leaning to yes. I'm leaning, I'm leaning towards yes with this and get a different style in the jeans. Okay, that's kind of what I'm leaning towards. All right, let me try on the rest of the tops. Okay, here's the navy blue, just like if I was gonna wear it like a top, you know, buttoned up. I've got the little black t-shirt on still because I'm gonna unbutton this. <sighs> I think this is super cute. I think this is a definite keep. I like the ribbed, I like the big buttons, I like the hood, yeah. And it's, um, it would be too warm to wear it now, but when we first start getting those chilly mornings, this would be perfect. So here it is unbuttoned, just more like a shacket or a jacket. Um, yeah, I like it, I like it a lot. Okay, and here is just your classic plaid. 
it, it has a look of flannel, but it's not flannel, which I'm very grateful for because I can wear it. Actually, I could wear this today and be comfortable in it. It's viscous. And so it's not near as warm as flannel and it's super, super, super soft. So now my thinking on a top like this, as my weight changes, is I can open it up and it, it's loose on me now, so it's gonna get a lot looser, but the tails are long enough that I could tie it up. You know what I mean? I think that would be cute. It would look a little oversized up here and then I could cinch it up around my waist. I could even like leave it open and tie it up. I think there's a lot of things I could do with it. So I, I like it, I love the colors. Let me try on that um, puffer vest. I had to go create the girls. They were having a fit. All right, let's try on the puffer vest, the corduroy puffer vest. Oh, I can already tell I'm gonna like it. I love the color. I love that it's corduroy. My boy's in here with me. Yeah, it's got pockets. I like it a lot. Let me see if I can zip it up. Zipped. I mean, it's a little snug right here, but that's okay. Um, I'll be honest, rarely will I zip it up, but I like it. I don't know, what do y'all think? I like the color, I like the corduroy. I think it's cute. And I think it was like $29, so probably will keep it, but y'all let me know what you think. So neighbors mow in their yard and Boomer is having a fit. That's what the girls were working at. Okay, so this little tank top, I've never shown y'all, but I love it. I got it from Maurice's and I just realized it's a perfect match for this. This is super cute. I wish it was warm enough to wear today. Not warm enough, cool enough. I like this whole outfit, but I even like it with the skinny jeans. I don't know, I might keep these skinny jeans. They are good for boots. I don't know, y'all. I may go see if they have some boot cut and you know, then I'll decide. This was a really fun nod to fall on a very cool morning, 63 degrees, perfect, um, shopping haul. All right, well, I've enjoyed being back here today. Don't know when I'll be back again, hopefully soon. I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to get back into a routine, y'all. It's just gonna take time. I, I'm not leaving forever, I'm never leaving forever, but well, I shouldn't say never, I guess, but I have no plans of leaving forever. Let's put it that way. And, you know, I would like to come back with at least three videos a week. Uh, one Optavia related, maybe a Let's Cook a Lean and Green or What I Ate in a Day, something like that. Um, and then a couple of um, shopping, unboxing type videos. I used to do six videos a week, y'all, and there's no way I could do that right now. There, there goes Boomer again. Um, but he's sounding good, isn't he? Y'all, if y'all follow and y'all know what's going on with Boom, um, he's doing so good. He has defied all the odds. I'm not kidding. We had a vet tell us, with the first vet that diagnosed him told us he didn't expect him to live out the week. He said, at best, a month. I fell apart right then and there. Scott was actually driving near that clinic just, I guess it was yesterday, just yesterday. And he said he came so close to going in and telling that doctor, you know, you, you had no business telling my wife that and making her cry. He, it made him mad. It made him mad because he was just, he had no bedside manner and his prognosis was so off. We've been over, we're definitely past a month. Our vet said it's serious one to six months. Um, just, you know, but you never know. I think he just scratched to the door. I'm gonna let him in. Come on, buddy. <laughs> There's my buddy. There's my buddy. Stand back here so the people can see you. You don't ever get in the picture because you're, he's a gentleman. He's, he's gonna, he's putting his behind to you. Look at him the way he sits. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's our old man. He's our old man. We've always said he has an old soul. Um, he, he just always has. And uh, anyway, but he's doing great, y'all. He's doing great. Okay, so enough about all that. Y'all let me know what you think I ought to do with my hair. Y'all let me know what you think about this shopping haul, what I should keep, what I should take back, return, exchange, whatever. Y'all just talk to me. I've missed y'all. It was good to be with y'all. All right, until we get back together again. You guys, please stay safe. Stay well. And I'm out.